Did you really think we were done talking about the Switch Pro? Now, before I get into this video, I got to let you know about our sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM is a quality shirt company. They have these high quality shirts. This is one of them I'm actually wearing right now. They are super soft, extremely premium, and you can get 10% off through the link down in the description, which is into the am.com slash Nintendo Prime 10. You get 10% off any individual shirt order, any order on the entire website, including their packs. They have bundles where you can get three of these basic tees for $45 or three of the printed tees I've shown off in the past for $60. Uh, they have a lot of other various items and they're one of my favorite companies out there when it comes to shirts because the shirts are just the softest I've ever felt and they're pretty shrunk and for a big guy like me it's nice to know that when I wash my clothes they're not going to shrink. They're going to still be the same size whether I hang dry them or no matter what wash cycle I put them in, put them in the dryer, doesn't matter. They come out just as soft and just the same size as before. So if you're interested in it, go down to the description and check out into the am.com slash Nintendo Prime 10. All right, folks, obviously we have an elephant in the room and I talked about it on live stream last night. We're going to get into that elephant after we get into this report uh, because I want to focus on the new and then we'll get into the old. So obviously the Nintendo Switch Pro is something we're all eagerly looking forward to. Some people don't believe it exists. I know I even put out a tweet yesterday where I was kind of like, eh, I'm starting to think it's not real. It was more a, uh, a glorification of my actual stance. I do believe the Switch Pro is real. It's just more of a frustrating point, right? Because, you know, we didn't get an announcement and we're still waiting and we might be waiting for another month, two months, three months. I have no idea. I don't have any sources on the inside of Nintendo that's telling me anything. But we do have some new news today coming from, well, Yes, an insider. Another, just an interesting thing to look at uh, and ponder if it's possible. So first, let's get into the real information. There's an article on WCCF Tech uh, that pointed this out, but I already knew about this, and it's a tweet that came from Emily Rogers, because yesterday, obviously, there was a lot of back and forth between fans and insiders, and Emily Rogers has a vastly proven track record as an insider. Uh, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, yeah, she leaked that in 2016. Um, and nobody believed her. She leaked the exact name and everything in 2016, and everyone's like, that's, no, there's no Rabbids and Mario game coming. It's not called Kingdom Battle. Not, not happening, and if it is, it's just going to be some mini-game fest combo game, maybe something like, you know, the Mario and Sonic games, if it, like, whatever. She, she teased to have guns and all this stuff, and turns out she was 100% correct. She's been correct on a number of things over the years, including what technology was going inside the Switch before launch. Now, Emily Rogers doesn't speak up uh, often anymore when it comes to things, but she did talk about the Switch Pro recently, and she thinks people are focusing on the wrong aspect, right? Everyone's worried about when are we going to get this thing announced by Nintendo, and I feel like the pressure there that's cooking for Nintendo to announce it is just because there's so much smoke that people are waiting for that smoke to be justified by Nintendo. But here's what she said when talking about um, the release timing and then getting into what's actually the bigger news. She goes, I doubt it, but the timing of the announcement isn't really important. I think people are obsessing over that because everyone is in E3 hype mode right now. The more important news is that it's entering production and assembly this month. That's the only news that really matters because when it enters production and assembly is when you can start talking about when is this thing coming out. Remember, Takahashi Machizuki at Bloomberg has talked about this thing coming out in September or October. I'm leaning towards October uh, if you know if, if his reporting is true. Uh, and yes, he's the one that also said you know that it's likely to be revealed before E3, but likely not guaranteed. There's a big difference between promising something versus hinting at something. Uh, and there were some insiders that messed up. This is that big. Um, Emily Rogers actually never said it was going to be announced yesterday. So just to be clear, if people want to discredit her, she is not part of the train that said it's getting announced yesterday. Before E3, yes. Yesterday, no. Anyways, moving beyond all of that, we also had this interesting concept that, yes, originates from 4chan. Now, it's interesting about this, this image you are seeing right now of a potential Switch Pro is that... Well, one, it has some cool ideas to go along with it. And two, a reverse image search on Google and other search engines discovers that this image does not exist anywhere else on the internet. 
literally is only in a random 4chan thread. I will link that 4chan thread down in the description, but I am going to warn you right now, you don't really want to dive into that thread. Uh, there's just, you know, 4chan can be kind of a cesspool of some nasty stuff. Uh, and there is, you know, some just inappropriate messages, but the source is there. I did my due diligence and uh, found out this image doesn't exist anywhere else. And now look, legit, you know, rumors, leaks, whatever, come from 4chan time to time. And this could be one of those that was just kind of tossed out there that no one's going to believe because it's from 4chan. So I just wanted to kind of look at it just because it's different than other things we've seen. One, obviously the switch is in dock mode and the dock doesn't have a front cover on it. It's like a smaller, sleeker dock that might maybe is thicker in the back, like some of the rumors we've heard that include an ethernet port. I feel like uh, this is just a really nice concept and it obviously gets rid of the whole worry of scratching the screen. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't mind it. Uh, it also gives the potential that w if that is set up underneath your TV or something like that, Nintendo, when your TV's off, could pop up ads on it like they did on the Wii U gamepad back in the day. If you guys remember uh, how Nintendo handled advertising games with the Wii U gamepad, uh, they would literally pop things up on it even if your TV was off as sort of an advertisement. Because remember, they kind of had a charging stand for the Wii U gamepad that was you know not exactly this design. This is probably a bit more sturdy. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely um, a similar concept. So Nintendo's not adverse to doing something like this. And if you glance at the Joy-Con, it's small, it looks similar, but the joystick actually looks different than the original joystick on the Joy-Cons today, suggesting that Nintendo has replaced the joysticks. Now, again, this is likely fake, right? I'm not really putting much credence in it, but I think it's an interesting concept. Uh, and, you know, it, couldn't a Nintendo fan mock this up? I mean, come on, we saw Nintendo fans mocking up, uh, you know, the the old uh, patents uh, for, for Switch way back in the day when it was called NX uh, with, with the screen taking up the whole thing and, and the control sticks in the middle and no buttons, right? We saw that as a mock-up, so obviously fans could mock this up, 3D print it, all that jazz. Uh, so, again, it's not something that we should necessarily believe, but it's definitely an interesting concept. What's more believable is obviously what Re Emily Rogers said in terms of it going into production. Now, I have to note, as always, and the title notes this as well, these are rumors. So, you do with these what you want. And this is where we get into the second portion of the video, uh, where we have to address everything that's been going on and the craziness of hype. So, there's been almost every video I've made, because I haven't made a standalone Switch Pro video, uh, in the last 24 hours or something, people have been thinking I'm dodging a bullet or, or I'm trying to avoid controversy. Here's the bottom line with the Switch Pro. There was a video we put up a, a few days ago that stated, hey, from you know, a rumor from a place, a potential, uh, it might have leaked. You know, There are retailers out there listing the game, saying you know, potentially available for pre-orders you know, today. Uh, there, there was also that guy, um, the Xbox era guy, who said, hey, I'm hearing Thursday. And obviously, these people were wrong. That happens. And we probably won't be covering the Xbox era guy anymore because of it, because he's only gotten a handful of Nintendo things right in the past. Uh, so at this point, we're just going to kind of ignore him until maybe a day that he gets a lot more major things correct. Like if he leaks a whole Nintendo Direct and then that Nintendo Direct ends up being word for word what he says it is, obviously at that point we got to start being like, okay, maybe, maybe it was just one of those things that changed and got kicked down the road as he mentioned. But again, we're not going to be covering that guy anymore. Uh, and when it comes to the retailer stuff, retail listings have always been a bit sketchy. Sometimes it leads to leads to things being revealed. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, so just pointing out they exist is nice to do. It's nice to build hype for. But also retail listings aren't you know a factual thing. It will be interesting to see if the retail listings on the 399 price were right. But then let's get into why are everyone like mad at YouTubers and content creators um, in general. And uh, I got a lot to say about that. Now, in regards to the general animosity around content creators like me, by some people, you know, I'll tell you guys, the like to dislike ratios haven't really changed. But I feel like there is a portion of fans out there that are looking for reasons to roast content creators they don't like or content creators that post about rumors and potential leaks. Keep in mind that there is a fundamental difference in how I title my videos for a real leak versus a potential leak or a rumor, right? Uh, a video I put up in the middle of the night, literally right before midnight last night uh, for Shin Megami Tensei 5 was a legit leak. It came from the official website. It was put up by Sega. Yes, Atlas, Sega owns Atlas. So say what you want, they are a Sega company. So it's one of those situations where that was a real leak. I could verify it and I saw the information myself on the Japanese website. So 
That is what you call a real leak, right? A data mine is a real leak because the information factually exists in the game. And then obviously something like this is a legit leak. So what did we label that title? Breaking news, because we literally we were breaking it before major websites even got to it. Breaking news, Shin Megami Tensei 5 leaked. Because we factually did. There was no lie. It was no rumor. It was a real leak. Then look back at the video where we talked about the retailer stuff. We say the price point and um, you know announcement timing may have leaked. May is a very key point in that title because it suggests an air of doubt on what is happening here. Basically suggesting retail outlets are not necessarily 1000% reliable. So in this context, I don't really feel like getting angry at me and other YouTubers is that justified over this. Uh, I mentioned this on the live stream last night, but you need to be responsible for your own hype. Okay, I always say this hype responsibly, right? I have my opinions, so I'll report on things, I'll talk about the leaks and the rumors and whatever else is going on out there, I'll label them appropriately, and I'll give my take. My take is not law, my take is my personal opinion. My personal opinion, actually, it was more like a personal desire, is that I wanted Switch Pro announced yesterday, but I also wanted it announced last week. I also wanted it announced four months ago. I've been wanting this thing announced ever since rumors started swirling about this thing back in 2017, I wanted it announced. So the thing is, I have my personal opinions and maybe I need to do a better job separating my opinions from the actual news, but I feel like I already do that, right? So when we talk about rumors, we talk about potential leaks, I try to label them correctly and I don't try to falsely lead anyone. And when I grab uh, this information from certain people, I try to present stuff that comes from previously credible places. Uh, 4chan is not one and that's why the image kind of came second and you know we, we literally mentioned in this video you know it's you know, that's not really probably it but hey it's kind of cool to think about and I can't find this image anywhere else so at least you know whoever posted it is the originating source of that image uh, so take with that what you will but the same thing here I don't know when Switch Pro is getting announced I get to ask this question every day whether it's in DMs, whether it's publicly on Twitter or on our Discord server uh, during live streams. I have no idea when Switch Pro is getting announced, guys. I don't have any of my own sources. So to me, I don't feel like I really have anything to apologize for. I think that all of us need to take responsibility for how much we allow ourselves to be hyped up and believing of certain things. Always go in with an air of skepticism when it comes to anything regarding an unannounced product. Whether it's a game, uh, like the Donkey Kong stuff, whether it is a console, like Switch Pro, it doesn't matter. Always have skepticism until it's confirmed or it's leaked in a way that is basically a confirmation like Shin Megami Tensei 5 was. So anyways, that's what I got to say on that. Uh, I do apologize if my videos maybe led you astray. Uh, they shouldn't have. They were all put out there in a way to let you know they might not be real, uh, but here is why we're talking about them. Uh, and so same thing today. We're not gonna stop talking about the Switch Pro when news happens like today. Uh, we're just going to keep going like we've been going and hey, hype responsibly and take responsibility for your own disappointment or your own excitement. Um, yeah, like me, if I get disappointed at E3, that's my own fault. If you're disappointed at E3, that's your own fault too. You know, I'm just another gamer like the rest of you guys. I'm just covering the things I'm interested in, and I'm highly interested in the Nintendo Switch Pro. All right, folks, I'm Nintendo Robert Judge from Nintendo Prime. Uh, if you want to tune into our live stream tonight, that'd be great. We also obviously have a massive E3 event going on. Links to some of that down in the description. Uh, and, yeah, I'll just catch you guys in the next video.